and we are back. This time I'm going to show you how to create the flower of life symbol in Illustrator. Let us start with an ellipse, hold shift to create a perfect circle, send it properly, activate rotator, hold alt, get to the top anchor point and left click. We need an angle of 360 divided by 6 obviously, not 66 which is 60 degrees. Then press copy and then ctrl D until you've got 6 circles in total. Then we go to the outline mode, ctrl Y, and you can see we've got 6. Ctrl Y again and we're back to normal. Now we use the shape builder to hold Alt and we'll get rid of the other shapes. And this is what we need to start. I hold shift and Alt but I'll resize it. In the next step, we will need a copy of that. So I select it all, then I hold Alt and drag a copy out of it while the selection tool is activated. And the smart guides help me with that to find the intersections. Go to view, make sure your smart guides activated. And I only have snap to point activated. So get rid of snap to pixel if yours is activated. Then press Ctrl D two times. We need four of these in total in one row. We are ready for our next step. We need to select the bottom parts and then these two of each. So the only ones not selected are the four on top. Hold R, drag a copy out of it. This is what we have. And when you drag it out, position it to these intersections. I'll zoom in holding Alt with the mouse wheel. And there you can see it. Afterwards, press Ctrl D. Now we need six of them in total. So press Ctrl D four times. Now we are ready to go. Now we need the top part. Simply drag a copy out of this little shape and position it to the intersections like so. We need a copy of that once more. Drag it below to the intersections. And then press Ctrl D to fill up the gaps. Select them all. Hold Alt and drag a copy out of it to the right. And then press Ctrl D once. So now all of the gaps are filled. We only need to find the shapes that we need. And let me align it first properly. So right click group and I align it. And now we can find the shapes that we really need, as this is more like a grid that we've created. I start with this little circle, I select it all holding shift and left click, and then I get a red color. So this should be the first shape that you need, and on top this stays black. We need another circle right here, and once again on the bottom we've got the same shape as on top, we don't need that stays black. And I'll make these two red as well. Now we go one to the right. I'll make that red. And we go another one to the right. Just like this. Now we go downwards when we go to the right. here. It's easy to lose orientation here, so just pause the video, do it yourself, come back to the video. And this is what we actually need. Now we can get rid of the outer black shapes. Simply select them and then press delete on your keyboard. I'm going to speed this video up now. And now we've got only the red ones as an outline. Now we can select it all and make it all red now. If you want to align it, make sure that you group it first. Otherwise, you've got this problem. 
So press Ctrl Z to undo, right click group and then align it if it's not properly aligned. Now we need a circle and we will use the ellipse tool for that. Just go to the center position then hold shift and alt and drag it up. We will make that black, but I want to have the stroke black, so I'll simply switch the color. Now I'll resize it down to the anchor point, and I'll hold shift and all when I do so. Now I'll press Ctrl C, Ctrl B to copy that circle and paste in the back. And I've seen this symbol in different versions, for example with a second circle on the outside. Like this. Sometimes you see it with a circle on the inside. Just positioned up to here. So you can try out different things that you may like. But as far as I know, the original only has one circle on the outside and this inner one. Let me delete that. Now I select it all and I get rid of the fill color completely and I give it a black stroke. And this should be the original symbol. You can increase the stroke weight. Just select it all and then increase it. But if you do, you may run into that problem. Just like here we have overlaps. Just select it again, go to window and open the stroke menu. Now we need to change the corners. Let me zoom in so that you can see what's happening. Just change the corners to round join and it's gone. Sometimes bevel works as well. Just try it out. You can also align it and look what happens. But I would stick to the center alignment. So the first one on the left. And this is how you can recreate this flower of life symbol in Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.